People are curious creatures, and that's why there seems to be no shortage of folks going through a reality disconnect in the pop culture witch community, particularly when it comes to some of the most disreputable characters of the past century. And that could be why so many pop culture witches are afraid to have me on their podcast. Hey, everybody, Dr. John Michael Salvato, the Strega Mystica. I'm a lifelong practitioner of Afro-Sicilian and Southern Italian folk magic, as well as being an anthropologist and a semi-retired member of the Catholic clergy. My channel explores the world of witchcraft and folk magic, esotericism, Catholic conjure, uh, all from the perspective of a mystic and an academic. So why do I say there's a reality disconnect in the pop culture witches community? Well, in the simplest of terms, it would seem that despite their protestations that a magical tradition or religious cult doesn't need to be rooted in antiquity to be valid, something I agree with wholeheartedly as a matter of fact, they seem to go out of their way so often to, to construct fanciful excuses for the inexcusable. When, when people, very few of whom have any academic training in history or anthropology, attempt to corroborate the grotesquely mistaken and likely outright fraudulent claims of people like Charles Leland, Margaret Murray, Gerald Gardner, Lori Bruno, Raven Kramasi, it only underscores their ignorance, their willful ignorance of the facts. And to be clear, the historic record and anthropological facts don't support that Leland um, uh, claims to have uh, found a witch's coven or a boschetto. His mistaken interpretation of a religious ceremony that he witnessed had nothing to do with witchcraft. The anthropologic and, and historic record have long discredited the notions of Margaret Murray and Gerald Gardner, uh, whose, whose tradition was little more than a mashup of Freemasonry, theosophy, and the psychotic ramblings of, of Aleister Crowley. Uh, when combined with Murray and, and Leland's tales. And as for Gramasi, I have repeatedly noted that during my two conversations with him, while he seemed affable enough, uh, a little bit arrogant perhaps, he admitted flat out that he made up the entire bullshit story of the old religion that he was initiated into and his plagiarized version of Wicca with cheap Italian seasonings, which he called Svegaria, a tradition that has never existed in Italy or Sicily, where the practice of esotericism and magic is a worldview and a form of connection with other realms of existence that has nothing to do with religion or the worship of any gods or goddesses. Now, to be perfectly clear, Wicca has no roots in the ancient world. Paganism has no connection to witchcraft. There has always been an intersectionality between magical practice and spirituality, occultism and, and religion. And we don't need to have a tradition with roots in the ancient world for our traditions to be valid and legitimate. In fact, it's only when we pretend that such connections occur that those are, that our own traditions and our own intentions become illegitimate and highly suspect. So why can't we just stop the nonsense of defending the indefendable?